Can't cook? Well, this is Multo by Cooking Pal, and it aims to help the novice home cook level up. It's also designed to take some of the stress out of things like family dinners and meal prepping. But is it worth your hard-earned cash? I'm Matt Hall with the Make Use Of product reviews team, and today we're testing Molto by Cooking Pal. Grab your aprons, because this might get messy. The Molto Intelligent Cooking System is an all-in-one cooking appliance that Cooking Pal touts as the only cooking appliance you'll ever need. It comes primarily as two main parts. First, you have a Smart Hub, which is specially designed to stand up to the rigors of being in the kitchen. And then you get the main cooking unit, which kind of looks like a food processor on steroids. There's a little more to it, though, which we will go over in just a moment. Now these types of all-in-one cooking devices are supposedly great for busy folks, overworked parents, and kitchen noobs. One of these types of devices actually has a pretty large cult following on the internet. We're not going to talk too much about that though because we're here to talk about Molto. Currently, Molto is available for special pre-order at a price of $799 but the company is expecting to release the device commercially in July at an increased price. So, if after this review, this is something you're interested in, you might wanna grab it while you can get it at a discount. Now, according to Cooking Pal's website, this device has also gotten praise from Elle Magazine, Working Mother Magazine, and The Guardian. But what does it do? Well, Cooking Pal states that this device can cook, weigh, chop, saute, knead, steam, boil, whisk, mix, emulsify, grate, and grind. Essentially, it's an appliance that'll take some of the hassle out of cooking. It does this by providing a unique guided cooking function. So let's say you wanna make one of Cooking Pal's recipes. What Molto will do is guide you through every step. Now that includes weighing ingredients, adding things at the proper times, and keeping track of when your food is perfectly cooked, in theory at least. So who is Molto for? Ideally, if you're a novice home cook, something like Molto should allow you to spend less time worrying about making meals. The guided recipe function claims to help make great dishes as long as you can follow instructions. If you're not confident in the kitchen, then something like this will allow you to improve your culinary prowess. Of course, Molto is not gonna turn you into a Michelin star chef, but if you can't cook, this might help you bridge the gap. For more experienced cooks, Molto is going to be a little less your speed. Though what you might appreciate is the easy cleanup. Now with the exception of the main unit and the hub, all of the components are dishwasher safe according to Cooking Pal. However, you'll probably want to keep the plastic parts on the top rack. To make cleaning easier, the device also has two self-cleaning modes that are built right in. You just add a little bit of water and a little bit of dish soap to the mixing bowl and you let it rip. So what's in the box? The list of things that are included with this unit is pretty long. When you buy one of these, you'll get the main unit, you get the blade and the blade seal, which are inside of the mixing bowl. You get the 3.1 quart stainless steel mixing bowl. You'll get a 3.5 ounce measuring cup. You get the lid here and the lid seal. You'll get a butterfly whisk, a simmering basket. You get a steamer lid. You get both the shallow and the deep steaming trays. You'll get a steamer seal. You get the hub, the hub stand. There's a specialty spatula, a type C to type A charging cable for the hub, and of course the power cable for the main unit. Now I know that was a mouthful, but the idea here is that the Molto is gonna be the single appliance you turn to when you need to whip up a delicious meal in a short amount of time. So what are some of the technical specifications? Firstly, I just wanna preface this by saying that all of these technical specifications came directly from the owner's manual of the unit. But keep in mind, Molto's currently in pre-release status, so things may change. I'm gonna throw the tech specs up onto the screen, that way you can take a look at them for yourself. So to test this unit, I tried two recipes from the recipes included in the app. Now the first was a bacon wrapped chicken recipe 
and the second was a more simple pasta dish, uh, the pasta alfredo. So the reason I chose these two dishes is because I think they really represent both ends of the spectrum for novice cooks. Now as for the pasta alfredo dish, it started out pretty promising with uh, fresh grated Parmesan cheese and chopped parsley, though it was a little annoying to have to thoroughly clean the mixing bowl after blitzing both of these ingredients individually. Despite this, I kind of sauntered on, I tried not to lose my steam, but then things started getting a little bit weird. So look, I'm not, I'm not trying to be overly critical here, but this is the final product of the pasta alfredo in the Molto cooking system, spatula out of the way. To me, this is not something that I would feel comfortable serving to uh, my family or even eating by myself. This pot of pasta right here, I'm gonna end up having to throw this out just because of how liquid, I mean, look at all that liquid at the bottom. These are our sugared and salted and peppered carrots here. Let's give that a try. That carrot is still pretty raw. That chicken's still raw. So at that point, I concluded all my testing and I tossed everything in the garbage before ordering a pizza and being done with the molto for the evening. So what do we love about Molto? Well, I gotta say, in theory, this device has a lot of potential. Other devices like it, like the Thermomix TM6, have a lot of fans. And technically, it does what it's supposed to do, but based on my testing, it doesn't really do any of those things well, save for chopping up ingredients. I think if the included recipes were up to snuff, then the device might make a great alternative to some of the more expensive devices like it on the market. Unfortunately, because of the recipes, I don't think that this is ready for mass market just yet. At least not until they can figure out how to produce meals that won't come out soupy or undercooked. There is one good thing and that's the self-cleaning mode. It's really nice to not have to scrub a mixing bowl uh, once you're done cooking stuff. Though the amount of accessories will fill a dishwasher if you use them all for a single meal. As you can see, it's, it's quite a lot of stuff. So what is not to love about Molto? Again, the purpose of this device is to help cook full dishes. It isn't designed to serve as a single replacement for your pots and your pans. The device is made to serve as an all-in-one appliance for beginners or people who want to save time. But it doesn't do that, at least not with the guided recipes that are included in my experience. Unfortunately, these recipes are going to be a pretty big draw, and not using a recipe along with this unit has a pretty steep learning curve. So if you're gonna try and create your own recipes, it's probably gonna get a little bit frustrating. Another thing I don't love is the size of the unit. It's pretty bulky as kitchen appliances go. It's bigger than a lot of food processors and stand mixers, and the accessories take up a lot of space. It's a large unit to sit on a countertop, and if you have a smaller kitchen, you're really gonna hate the size of the device. The tablet portion too seems a little bit delicate. I think it's probably one slip away from a broken screen, which I think could be solved if you add sort of a rubber gasket or something around the edges of the unit. There's also the issue of app development and voice control. Now these are two features that are still in development, but they are alluded to on Cooking Pal's website. I was invited to try a demo version of the app, but to be honest with you, showcasing a demo that isn't ready is not gonna be helpful for anybody reading this article or watching this video. So can you repair the Molto Intelligent Cooking System? I think this is a pretty interesting question. So for breakdowns, you're probably better off going to Cooking Pal. The internal components of this device, including the tablet, including the main unit, are not designed to be taken apart. However, there is an answer on the frequently asked questions on Cooking Pal's website that indicates spare parts are available. The warranty on this unit is one year, so if you do have an issue, you can get in touch with Cooking Pal and they can help you get things sorted out. So now the final question, should you buy Molto by Cooking Pal? Now after testing and researching this device, I can't help but compare it to probably its main competitor, which is the Thermomix TM6. It's eerily similar in its execution, though Molto has a few important differences. So I think for folks wanting something like that with a similar feature set at a lower cost, it might be pretty lucrative. Now I haven't used the TM6, so I can't tell you if the Molto is better, worse, or the same. What I will say is that for the price of this unit, 
you can buy a lot of other specialized machines. Malto's key feature here is going to be the guided cooking aspect. And with my experience, the guided cooking aspect is also the weakest feature of the unit. I do think once Cooking Pal gets the recipes sorted out, this device does have a lot of potential and could probably really increase your confidence in the kitchen. But if you're a seasoned home chef, you'll probably get more mileage out of a quality set of pots, pans, and knives. Now finally, despite the one year warranty, I will say the quality of Molto seems to be top tier. I just wish the same amount of effort that was put into the build quality here was put into testing the recipes in the app. Overall, we really wanted to like Molto. At its core, the machine has a whole lot of potential, but unfortunately based on our testing, it's not ready to be released to the public yet, especially at almost $800 or more. And that's a real shame. So what do you think of Molto? Leave me a comment and let me know. And if you'd like to start a conversation, you can come find me over on Twitter. I would like to thank Cooking Pal for sending Molto to us to check out. And if you would like to read our full review of this device, please visit us at makeuseof.com. So for makeuseof.com, my name is Matt Hall. I appreciate you watching today and we will see you in the next one.